and welcome to the bottom side of the world. That's right, folks. Here I am reporting to you from New Zealand, Christchurch, New Zealand to be specific. But before we get into that, I want to say a really, really quick, like, amazing, amazing thank you to uh, my friend Elise McKenzie and her entire family. They were absolutely wonderful. I spent a week in Australia just now and it was fantastic and it was fantastic thanks to them. I stayed at their house. They were essentially our base. We went out, we went to the Blue Mountains and saw the Three Sisters. We went to a wildlife park. All the pictures are up on Facebook right now. And I just, I can't thank them enough. They were absolutely wonderful. Elise's parents were fantastic. They did so much for us. And Elise herself, she drove us everywhere. And she put up with two very high-energy Canadians, one specific high-energy Canadian, that I think just probably wiped her out for the rest of the week. I don't know, I hope she's doing okay right now. But I can't say thank you enough to how wonderful all these people were. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that we've gotten out of the world, out of the world. Ooh! No, they're still in the world. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, I guess we can move on to the fact that I'm in New Zealand right now. I've only been here for three days, so I don't have a lot to say right now. I could say about the hot... We did just stay in a really, really cool hostel. It's called the Jailhouse, and it was really cool. It was a jailhouse up until 1999, uh, and it's 150 years old, I think. So that was that was pretty cool. It was very bright, very nice, very not the kind of accommodations that they probably had when it was actually a jailhouse. Uh, more windows, less, you know, not being able to leave and having to go to the bathroom in the corner. Um, but I did drop my my soap in the shower, and that had me worried for a second. And then I picked it up and moved on with life. Um, so I don't have a ton of stuff to say right now. Uh, mostly I think what I have to say is, is aside from thank you again, uh, is about traveling because I've done a lot of plane flying in a little while and traveling I find fascinating. Like the actual act of moving from place to place because people are just fascinating. My, my favorite part about the flying thing was at the airports and getting to watch people. Very specifically I really, really enjoyed uh, being able to uh, go from different place to place because every airport, every flight has a different group of people. When I was flying from Ottawa to Toronto, all businessmen, well, and some businesswomen, and I think there was one family that looked like they were dressed for a vacation. Whenever I was flying from Toronto to Vancouver, you got your more speckled variety of people. There's a lot of, you know, businessmen that just looked ready to go home. Um, the people I sat beside on the plane, I swear to God, it was a mob boss and his 80-year-old mother. Like, this little Italian woman, all in, like, her head headdress and her black clothes. I don't know what they're called specifically, but you can imagine it. Like, a little Italian grandmother, very cute. And then this this big Italian man with the, the suit all done up nice and proper. And he didn't, you know, he slept on the plane all straight and rigid and just closed his eyes. It was really bizarre. And then they left... The plane with a violin case, which just kind of, again, just, just, mafia boss, you know, you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, so that was, that was interesting. The lady I sat beside from Australia to, not Australia, from Vancouver to Australia was a little bit crazy, a little bit kooky, but really fun, and she was great to talk to. Um, just a little bit airhead, not airheaded, but didn't quite get everything and, you know, didn't really get this whole packing for a plane thing and kind of spread herself out, but it was okay because it was me and then an empty seat and then her. So both of us got to spread ourselves out a bit and sleep was fantastic. Um, and then from the flight from Sydney, Australia to New Zealand was like, I swear, backpackers. The people in front of us had their, their uh, travel guides out and we're reading, you know, there's people who look like they had, they had been sleeping in airports for days, you know, you had like the dreadlocks and and the people in clothes that you're, you were just so slightly, slightly so old that you weren't really sure what was going on in the, the backpack, not the big backpacking backpacks, but like the little day packs, the ones that you bring on the, on the plane with all your extra stuff, that kind of stuff, so that was just kind of fascinating, the different people in place to place kind of thing. Um, and then when you actually got into the countries, it's interesting because everyone 
looks like they could be from where I'm from. You know, I, I didn't go anywhere so exotic that everyone looks different and I'm awash in culture shock or anything like that. I mean, it's really bizarre going to a mall. All of the store names are different, but the entire atmosphere and the setup exactly the same as what I'd see at home. Like, really no difference there. So that I found really, really fascinating. Um, the same with, like, well, some things are different. Fast food, you see the same fast food chains, but things like the cafes in Christchurch, they close at, like, midday, so you can't go out and get, you know, a bagel any time of the day kind of thing. So that's, it's, it's like those little changes, but overall it's very much the same. It's very interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm having a great time so far. Currently we are at our first workaway host house. It's a guy with his two sons. His sons are 11 and 13. They're Dutch descendants, which is making Kat super happy. Um, and we are gardening. I came halfway, no, I came to the bottom of the world to garden. I spent the day picking weeds. That is my favorite activity. But it's fun, and we have our own room, and Wi-Fi, so I can't complain. Life is wonderful.